Tonight we are learning more about the agreements given to two Oxford school officials during the criminal prosecution of the deadly school shooting. The prosecutor says no immunity was given and maintains that her team did not have to turn over the proffer agreements to the Crumbly's lawyers, but defense attorneys disagree. Seven investigator Heather Catalo has a look at what information has been released and what's next in this case. After two different trials where two different juries found James and Jennifer Crumbly each guilty of involuntary manslaughter, questions are now being raised about the role of proffer agreements in the historic cases. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald accused the parents of failing to take simple steps to prevent their 15-year-old son from accessing the gun that he used to murder four of his classmates inside Oxford High School. The truth is, one small effort could have saved their lives. Hannah St. Juliana, Tate Meir, Madison Baldwin, and Justin Schilling were shot to death on November 30th, 2021. The shooter is serving life in prison and his parents face up to 15 years behind bars. Earlier this week, news broke that school counselor Sean Hopkins and Oxford's former dean of students, Nicholas Ejak, were given something called proffer letters, so the statements they provided to prosecutors could not be used to file charges against them. They were the last administrators to meet with the shooter before his rampage in the school. It is an agreement between a prosecutor's office and an individual that whatever they say, as long as they're truthful, will not be used against them. Late Wednesday, McDonald issued a press release explaining that the proffer agreements were never an implicit or explicit promise of immunity, leniency, or favoritism of any kind. There was absolutely no protection from prosecution for anyone, and the, the, the witnesses who testified were, were promised nothing and they were given nothing. McDonald also released the actual agreements. You can see Ejak signed his exactly one month after the shooting in 2021, and Hopkins signed his a few days later. The proffer agreements are addressed to the attorneys of the school officials and say Ejak and Hopkins received no promises of favorable consideration. But the deals also say this office will not offer any proffer statements made by you or your client in this office's case in chief in any criminal prosecution of your client. James Crumbly's attorney told the seven investigators on Monday that she had not been provided the proffers during the case. Were you ever given any information that there was some protection from prosecution offered to those witnesses? I don't recall ever receiving anything in writing from the prosecutor's office indicating that there were any protection for any of the school employees. What do you think about that? If it's true, I, I think that they should have told us. McDonald maintains she did not have to turn over the agreements during discovery. The only thing required to give to the defense is any agreement we've made with a with a witness that gives them a plea deal or immunity in exchange for their testimony under oath to prove our case. That was not done. Criminal Defense Attorneys of Michigan President Arthur Weiss disagrees. In 72, in the Giglio case, they said any type of agreements or understandings uh, that a prosecution witness has is to be disclosed. I would imagine they'll be filing a motion before sentencing with the court to set aside the conviction and ask for an evidentiary hearing so it can all be fleshed out. Prosecutor McDonald has said publicly there is not sufficient evidence to charge anyone from the school with a crime. But if new information were to come to light, that position could change. In the newsroom, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.